Hello guys and welcome back. Today I'm making a video of showing you how to storage your motorcycle for the winter. I know a lot of you right now are dealing with the winter, the snow and all that cold weather and you really don't have the time to ride the bike and one of the biggest problem is a lot of people store their motorcycle and then when they go to start it you have a dead battery or not even worse. Once your battery start losing the charge and you recharge it and losing the charge and you recharge it you're damaging that battery cells so here's a quick easy way to maintain your battery on winter when you store your bike first of all what you want to do is you want to start taking off your plastic so all you need is a screw uh, fill a screwdriver to take your plastic off. Once you take that bolt off, you gotta be very careful that when you take this off, you're not you're not gonna break any of all those nipples or this plastic because they are cheap and they're not made very strong. So once you take this off, guys, you're gonna get your battery charger. This battery charger I got it on Walmart. And if I'm not mistaken, I pay under twenty dollars for this battery charger. Once this battery charger charge, it will automatic shut off. So you see the settings is in twelve volts, small, two a small battery, which is a motorcycle charger. It's a two amp trigger charger. Okay, and and she goes from two amp for four amps to six amps. Once you take the panels off, all you got to do is to maintain this battery to be fresh all the time, take your pos positive cable, put it on the battery, and take your negative, put it on your negative. Once you got that hooked up, guys, you can leave this, th you can leave this charger on this bike for the rest of the winter on and once you reach the fully charge it will shut off and you don't have to worry about oh no you know it's gonna overcharge the battery it's never gonna overcharge the battery once your battery is fully charged it's gonna shut off and it's always gonna maintain that battery fresh and ready to ride when you come you know summer comes around spring comes around you can get on that bike Hit the hit the switch and she good to go. A lot of people are saying, "Oh, replace the battery. They're the cheapest battery." And I and I agree with you. They are one of the cheapest battery. But if you really want to make this battery, guys, last for quite a bit, you always gotta maintain her to be refreshed. And that's the thing with battery. Once you, it's like your cell phone. If you always use your cell phone in low voltage, I mean, you're draining the battery all the time. And you don't charge that phone slowly for slowly that battery will get defected and sooner or later it will not take a charge so that's what you do with a motorcycle battery that sits around all, all winter because you're not riding it since I'm already took this panel off you can see this right here that I got it some tape around it and I did that to maintain any moisture to go in it because the first mistake people do is start washing the bike and all the moisture go inside those connectors and then you're wondering why your bike doesn't start. So if you see, I use tape and I tape that baby around very, very good, you know, making sure there is no moisture going inside those connectors. Yeah, you can get some um, some of the connection um, uh, electrical uh, grease and you can put that in your connectors, but to me, for water not get in it, I, I make sure I get some black tape and I go around it, I go around it, I go around it. And I know one day if you need to, you know, to work on your bike, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But I'm going to tell you what, I never had a motorcycle leave me stranded. And this is the reason why, because a lot of people don't prep your bike for moisture. You know, this is not like a car, you got a hood on it. You know, once you start getting water in it, man, it's, no, it's going to be nothing but problems. Here's one. It's the CDI box. See how I got that nice and covered with some plastic 
and I took a sandwich bag and put it around it and took some block tape and I got her nice and tight, moisture, moisture free. If you really don't want to have problems with your motorcycle, that's what you got to do. Again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, give me a comment, uh, give me a, a thumbs up. I really appreciate your time and I really just want to show you guys how to keep your motorcycle battery fresh on the winter time, ready to go riding. And also, make sure that your uh, acid battery acid ca um, cable, or not cable, uh, it's, it's a tube. Make sure your battery acid tube on your motorcycle, you have it. And if you don't, you can get some, um, some of the tubing for our fish tank. And this is what I use because this came without it. And I have battery acid all over the frame. And what I did, I got her the battery um, tube to come up here on the side. You can see it's right here. So she, if she drip a little bit of battery acid, guys, it's going to go right on the ground. Because I had that problem before when that it was missing that battery uh, acid tube. And then all that battery acid, was, it was all over the engine. So to keep a prevent uh, accident from happening, make sure you got the tube. So it's the drainer for your battery acid. Make sure your battery is nice and tight. And... Get yourself a triple charger like mine. You can get this in Walmart. They're very cheap. And keep it on for the winter. Keep that battery fresh. So when you go riding, she good to go. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And thank you for watching my videos.